let's talk about smoothing. So this is a wearable pin I'm working on. Uh, in this mode, the sweep line will always uh, sweep across at the same angle, regardless of how it's oriented. So if I twist it around, you notice it always sweeps across your screen at about a 45 degree angle. Uh, and that's based on acceleration, which is this tiny accelerometer here at the bottom. Uh, and that data is fairly noisy, so here's how I deal with that. So this is a simulation of a uh, function with a bunch of random noise added, and the slider on top uh, uh, specifies my smoothing parameter. So if I introduce a little bit of smoothing, you, see, you can see a blue line added there that represents the smooth values, and uh, there's this that takes out, you know, reduces the severity of the spikes a little bit. If I start increasing that parameter quite a bit, it starts getting smoother and smoother. Uh, if we get up to about 75%, that's about, uh, that's, that's quite a bit smoother. Uh, most of the spikes are taken away. There's a little bit of lag added. It doesn't quite, it, it lags behind the uh, red line a little bit. If we go really, really high, it'll get really, really smooth, but then the the uh, lag starts getting really bad. If we go to like 99%, we can start to see that. Uh, a lot of the, the magnitude is, is lost quite a bit. Uh, and then go to 100% to see what it looks like. Flat lines, so there's no, no information being added. Uh, it's, per it's perfectly smooth. It's 100% smooth. But I think that around 75% is like, you know, the best trade-off for this type of, uh, type of algorithm. Uh, so in this one, I have the smoothing completely turned off. As you can see, it's just jumping around all over the place. Uh, you know, it, does, you know, it doesn't really look good. It's responsive uh, as, you, as you twist it, but it's just too, too noisy. This one is about 50%, and so that's, that's pretty good. You could, it is responsive, so you can see it twisting as you turn it, but it is just a bit all over the place. Uh, this one is sev about 75% smooth, so that's a little bit, a little bit of responsiveness is lost, but it is still, but there's no like jumping around and jitter at all. So this is what I have. This is the smoothing parameter I'm going with currently.